ओम शांति वेलकम टू फोर्टीन ऑफ नवम्बर गॉड बी बेसिंग सुप्रीम फादर वॉन्स एस टू वेक अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग एंड फ्रॉम दैट टाइम ऑन वर्ड्स बी इन कनेक्शन विद हेम सो दैट वी कैन डू एवरीथिंग वेरी सिस्टमैटिकली एंड हैव सक्सेस इन एवरी टास्क विच वी डू एंड स्पेशली टूवर्ड्स स्पिरिचुअल सर्विस सो हियर इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल वतान गॉड फादर सेज मे यू परफॉर्म एवरी एक्शन सिस्टमैटिकली विद रिमेम्बरेंस फ्रॉम अमृत वेला दैट अंडर हुज गाइडेंस वी आर डूइंग द कर्मा until night time that is right now and thereby become an embodiment of success whatever actions you perform from amrit vela until night time from morning 4 o'clock till night time 10 10:30 do those systematically with remembrance and every action will be successful now if you are using godly guidance if you are using godly virtues godly powers that means we are remembering that yes god is there with us he's guided us he's asked us to see the past present and future while doing every action and we remember every guidance which he's given us on a daily basis in every morally then our actions will be successful the success might not be instant but god says that success will be there the greatest success of all is to experience super sensuous joy in the form of instant fruit now the fruit of the karma might come a little later but the joy of doing that karma in the presence of god's light or his guidance will give us super sensuous joy we generally do all our karmas in our life to experience some kind of physical joy through our senses five senses but when we are doing karma even though it's a physical karma for getting some physical gains even if we are doing it if you but if we are doing it in remembrance of god then the joy while doing that karma even before the fruits have come will be something which is going to be beyond the five senses that means the soul is going to feel lighter happier joyous powerful while doing that karma that's an experience which happens when we do karma yoga now not a physical form of yoga some people they related to a physical form of action through a physical body but karma yoga means that you are in union with god while you are doing any kind of karma provided that karma is pure and towards kindness and is not just benefiting you but everybody else around you then god says you will constantly continue to move along in waves of happiness and joy so you receive this fruit instantly and you also receive fruit in the future so that is an instant fruit which people generally don't have any idea about and they are waiting only for the fruit in the future now while doing karma there should be enjoyment and not just we do karma and we wait for enjoyment once we get the fruit of it the fruit you receive instantly in this birth is even more elevated than the fruit you receive in your many future births so right now in presence of god when we do the karma the fruit of it the super sensuous joy which we feel right now is much more important or has got more weightage is much more elevated than the fruit which we receive of what karmas we do right now in the future births imagine what is the importance of doing karma in god's remembrance in his love you do something now and instantly receive the fruit of it at the same time this is called instant fruit and that's what people generally talk about that if you do any kind of bad karma in this present present yuga that is kali yuga you get the instant fruit right now what is that you tell lies to somebody you feel guilty within yourself you do something bad for someone or you bad mouth somebody your mind becomes impure and you feel a mood off in your mind or you don't feel very jovial or happy at that point of time instant fruit the person might come to know later that person might react with you later that's going to be a future karma uh, fruit but instantly if you're thinking impure instantly if you're thinking evil thoughts instantly if you're thinking any kind of negative thoughts you feel negative and that feeling itself is going to remove the super sensuous joy that itself is instant fruit of karma whereas if you do some karma in the presence of god in his light and his guidance in his methods then the super sensuous joy which you feel is also an instant karma even before the future karma presents itself in the form of fruits so this is what we learn in brahma kumaris to know more details about it do visit a brahma kumari center nearby you om shanti